Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to this channel and in this video, I'm uh, give you a guide on Rise of Nations Infantry. Take note that I have timestamps under my video so you can skip to any part that you want to watch but I recommend you guys watching the full video so you can get an idea of how infantry works and plus this video is not that long but without wasting any more time let's dive straight into the video. Before we even start the video itself I would like to take some time to explain to you the basics of infantry inside this game. So starting off the game all nation will be started with a home guard and a home guard is basically a soldier that you have by default when you go play as a country. Each country have an its own home guard. Germany here, our home guard is these two division. 90,000 men each totaling at 180,000 home guard. That's our home guard. And most countries, they start off with 20,000 men like Czech Republic, Luxembourg, Denmark, Norway. Most country in Europe, we don't start with 20,000 home guard. We start with a way bigger number. And these home guards, they are mostly situated in your capital city or your big city, populous city. Okay, so let's get to the first point of our video, which is how to spawn your infantry. Okay, so since you know the basics of infantry, now let's talk about how you can make infantry division. Do not count these two home guard division because we're gonna make a new one. So in order to make infantry, you wanna select any city in your country. Any one of them will, would work. Click on them, go to units right here, and then on the top, you will see infantry. Now you wanna click on that right here just wait for this to finish okay so since you know how to spawn infantry now let me show you how to spawn many infantry at once so basically spawn many division at once so what you want to do is that hold control on your keyboard hold it and then you select a city that i want your troops spawn in just select a bunch of city right here it will says like the amount of city selected after that you want to click on unit as usual you can see here we have six cities selected click on units click on infantry just wait for it to finish okay so when our unit is finished spawning we can group them all and put them into one big division so what you have to do is do not hold control this time just select normally selecting all of them move them to one city and watch them move into each other and boom you have 60,000 men okay so I want to explain you guys about manpower real quick so let's say we built like six, 60,000 more men so click on infantry you can see one it's building you can see that this manpower it just gone down so it goes down from 678,000 to 620,000 why because they subtract 60,000 men from our manpower in order to make it into these guys so basically in order to spawn a troop you need to spawn it with your manpower but don't worry your manpower is not gonna deplete forever it will gonna regenerate back so if you hover your mouse over it it says right here manpower increase plus 3,000 341 all right so another thing worth mentioning in this game is the unit experiences so you can see above your division there's like this little icon right here different icon so let me just explain it real quick so once you spawn a division click on him and you can see that his experience is between the first and the second bar basically he have 75 out of 300 experiences and what does experience do inside rise of nation well experience gives you a buff in attack and defense in your military so if this guy have a higher level than this guy then this guy is more effective in fighting and defending against these guys because you can see here this guy is between the first and the second bar so when you spawn a unit they will have this brown thing here but if it is for the home guard you have this silver thing right here okay so you might be asking well if I spawn my troop and it's in a low experience then how can I increase their experience so you can do this in two ways first of all you can either train them or secondly you want to send them off to war so they can fight and gain experience but I don't want to go war now so let me show you how to gain experience by training so first of all select on a unit that you want to train in this case I want to select this one division of 10,000 men select on them go to the right and click on start training as you can see here we are between the first and the second bar now as we train our experience goes up but you will not see the change in this icon immediately you will see the change in icon after you passes the second bar 
all right just in case you guys also have a question on how to split this division into two then i'll show you how to do it here so you can see here we have a division of 90,000 men let's say you want to split it into two division of smaller forces you can do this by simply selecting on the unit then click on split in half then your division will be split in half you can see here their experience still stay the same but we have two different division now so let's talk about upkeep cost your military upkeep so if you're not sure what is a military upkeep cost it is basically the amount of money that your military as a whole we're gonna eat from your economy in this case if we go to our economy tab click on our flag and economy our military is eating up 640,000 from our economy but now let's talk specifically about infantry so when you go in here one of your city go spawn an infantry if you hover over infantry right here it says that the cost 1 million 10,000 manpower upkeep 20,000 we have 729 million dollars in our country economy if we click on one of them see it just dropped by 1 million and our expenses now is 640,000 wait for this to load once it is spawned you want to go in here again and now our expenses become 660,000 so one of these guys we're gonna cost you 20,000 in military upkeep so let's say if I train them click on start training you will see that this thing we're gonna increase because when you train your military your upkeep is gonna also go up because you use that money to buy stuff for your military to train okay so let's say if we want to move this troop into a some random island over the sea so we would select on this guy and just move him to wherever you want so as you can see now my military expenses is currently 660,000. so let's see when this guy load on a ship you can see that it will also increase the amount of your military upkeep so if you check again it's now increased to 940,000. so this is the most expensive way that your military we're gonna eat your money it's not just spawning them but transport them by ships it will increase a big amount of your military upkeep you can also assign your soldiers into group and assign them a general so let me show you how to make a military group first of all you want to click on your flag right here then go to your military tab so this is our total summary of our military so we currently have infantry 330,000 personnel and the upkeep is $660,000. So in order to make a military group, you want to go to your military tab and then you want to click on military groups right here. Then make a group name. It is totally free. Just make one. So let's say we name it Army Group Europe, something like that. Click on create. And there we have it, Army Group Europe, but it says no leader and disband. Disband basically means delete this army group. So how do you assign your military into Army Group Europe? So you simply want to select the army that you want to be in part of the Army Group Europe. So in my case, I want this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy to be inside the Army Group Europe. So what I do is this. So I just select four of them right here, four of them selected. Once four of them is selected, click assign group right here. Then you can see the group that we have here, Army Group Europe. Just click on that. You will see nothing will change in the surface. But once you go to your military tab again, military group, see here, Army Group Europe, no leader, but we have 220,000 people or soldiers inside this army group. Okay, so let me show you guys how to make a general. So a general is basically a guy that is in charge of a certain military group. So in order to make a general, basically go to your flag, military and then click on military leaders click on that then it will ask you here recruit leader and it costs you 300 military power so it can either be a navy leader army leader or air force in our case we want an, an army leader because it will lead our army on the land click on that right here it will auto generate the name and then once once you see his name right here you can click on his tab and assign him the group that you want him to take control of so i want this guy to take control of my army group europe just click on army group europe and you can see here army group europe controlled by this guy called otto lipford and he has zero xp and this xp is gonna go up once he see combat and your military will get stronger 
Right, so let's talk about the uses of your infantry inside this game. So your infantry have two main purposes. One, they go to war. Second of all, they do reconnaissance mission. So let's say France right here. We know that France have this troop, this, but we don't know the exact amount. So we want to know how much troop do they have. So we just send a division into their territory close to them. Just send in. It is called a reconnaissance mission. So we're basically getting information on how many troops do they have. Okay, so apparently they have 130,000 troops. We can send him back right here. That is called a reconnaissance mission. Okay, so the second use is pretty obvious, but you have to use your soldiers or infantry to go war with other nations. And to do this, you can simply select on a city in a country that you want to invade. So let's say I want to invade Poland as Germany. I just select any one of their city. You can select Warsaw or whatever city you want. So let me select this city, click on their flag right here. Do not click on declare war yet. You need to justify war. So you want to click on justify war goal. Click on conquest. You can either select conquest or subjugate. So I'm gonna get conquest and it says right here conquest selected. This will take 75 days. Click on justify war. Then you're gonna wait 75 days. Okay, so you can see that our justification with Poland is finished. Click excellent and then click on one of our city again on their flag, click on declare war this time and now you want to select on conquest then you want to click on declare war you're at war with Poland war declaration we are now at war with Poland okay so I might just explain you real quick on how your troops are gonna get damaged so you can see let's say our 40,000 troops in order for it to get damaged while at war with other nation you can either go click on him and then send him to capture a city that will give some damage to him or He's engaged with other enemy unit. Or if this guy is head on and go on and fight against the Polish army here, it will also gonna get some casualty from him. Okay, so let me invade it for you to see real quick. So you wanna move your troop. You can select both of them. Or I might just move one here. And another one I'm moving here. So since then, once you capture the city, the, the enemy army gonna come for your first city that you take so see here he gonna come take the city and now our army is decreasing because it's fighting with the polish you can send another one and fight this guy you see as we fight our experience goes up their army goes down their army experience also goes up but our military goes down because we take casualties and once we finish them off then we can see that these guys have this little shovel icon right here which means that they're using manpower to restore the loses that they managed to suffer in the war if you see like this they are going up little by little so you see here and our manpower is decreasing little by little to replace the guy inside here and you do not have to select on your unit and go capture one by one in order to take an entire country you can select whatever unit you want so let's say select four units click auto capture and click on poland then that's it your army is gonna go automatically trying to capture all cities inside poland okay so to make your division stronger you don't always have to necessarily train them or get them to war all the time there's another way that's also very important inside the game and it is called technology so what you want to do is click on your flag go to technology and you can see here if you click on infantry then you can see that there's a bunch of things that we can do research on we currently have 2842 research points and we can spend it on them so if you hover over one of these things it says infantry improvement establish the infantry research arm it requires 100 research power then we can start researching stuff now if we start researching stuff the effects it will improve our infantry attack by 11 percent so it will make our infantry stronger click on it this one it will make our infantry go faster so you can research it this one the damage of infantry against tank it goes up by 50 percent research it then just keep on going now your military is both strong and fast at the same time and they also do a lot of damage to tank so yeah guys that's pretty much it for the short video because I think you guys will enjoy the short video more than the long video like a 15-20 minutes video. So now I'll try to make my video not that long anymore. And also I hope that you guys are staying safe because COVID really hit hard now in this country. And do not forget to click on the subscribe and like button because I'm aiming to get 2000 subscribers by the end of the year. So as always thank you and goodbye. Stay safe.